business trip. Oh, uh, the people move around. <laughs> it does tingle a little bit. All right. So top top threes. If you guys know how this works, we have a list of family and friends and other suggested like just sort of thing no that was yesterday oh my fault my fault i'll do the uh, magic kingdom switch there you go yeah the overnight magic kingdom switch oh he's he's seeing which ones i have on <laughs> all right so let's pick out one of these um for our top three tonight and it is going to be number 10 is our number tonight and number 10 is going to be ah we'll have some we'll have some fun with this one favorite character meet and greets very 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 broad topic you've got 18 and a half seconds Want to go to Disney? Contact me, Princess of the Mouse Travel, and I'd love to work with you on your amazing itineraries. <laughs> you can contact Princesses and the Mouse at Disney Travel on Facebook at PATM Disney Travel. Okay, caveat on this one. It can be part of a character dining experience as well. I don't hear you. Hold on now. Yeah, now I can hear you. I may or may not, but definitely did, hit the mute button on my mic with my mini sync. <laughs> As I brought down, like, like you, you opened up a can, my man. Like, we got, we got Lay's from Polynesian, VIP dining things, we got... Oh my god, there's so much on the ground too. <laughs> I said this like pile of things hanging right here, and then you got your lights on. I said, okay, well uh, <laughs> You're like game well, apparently on. Batteries, apparently my batteries are dead, so you still win. <laughs> All right. So um who do you want to go first? Okay. On shoot. One, two, three, shoot. <laughs> ah. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. This is probably one of yours. So, you know what? I'm going to actually start with this for number three. Um, I'm going to start with the character meet and greets that happen at Topolino's. Okay. So, I have on numerous occasions talked about my love of Topolino's. It's on the top of the Riviera Resort. You can step out on the deck and see Tower of Terror and the Epcot Globe. And um, so it's just prime location. And I just love the characters, Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy. Mickey is a painter. Minnie is a writer. Donald is a sculptor. And Daisy is a ballerina. And they are just themed for the creativity and inspiration that the French Riviera gives to so many artists. And it's just the really, really detailed costumes. And it's a really, really fun dining experience, which just all in all makes it just fantastic food, really, really great characters, and really, really unique outfits. Uh, just puts it up at the top of my list for meeting characters. Yeah, I, I love that one too. I just really really good breakfast um it always when we talk about character meals when we talk about breakfast and all that kind of stuff it always makes our list it's it, it's just a fantastic fantastic meet and greet um all around it, it is um so my number three god i'm going to go with um a little bit of a, an exclusive one, but I'm going to go with the Disney Visa card member uh, meet and greet at Epcot. And the reason I like this one is 
a, a, not a lot of people know about it, and you get really good time with the characters. It's usually Mickey and Minnie or Mickey and Pluto. Um, and you just, you get to spend some more time with them. It's not like crowded and just a, a, a big line of people getting into it. And it's just, I, I, when I think about the character meet and greets, it's just a lot more relaxing than a lot of them can be. Um, so yeah, it's actually over next to the Imagination Pavilion. Um, so if you go to the front of the Imagination P Pavilion and then walk around the left side of it, you can get to the entrance over there and it's kind of where they show the little short films and all that kind of stuff. So really cool place. Um, and if you do have your Disney Visa card with you, definitely take it over there and you get exclusive access to that meet and greet. So that is my number three. Let's move on to your number two. My number two occurs at Magic Kingdom. Uh, my number two kind of most unique or most memorable uh, character meet and greet location is Tinkerbell. Um, so when you go in over to the right hand side, uh, right next to Tony's Town Square, there is a meet and greet for Mickey, um, but there's also a meet and greet for Tinkerbell. And it's just really cool because as you're going through the line towards the end of it, like things start they, they start scaling things up and making yes. it a little bit bigger so that by the time you get to Tinkerbell, you have shrunk visually to the size of a fairy because now that makes sense that Tinkerbell is your size because through this magical line, through the gentle scale up, you're all of a sudden the size of a fairy. And so you go into this very, very ornate glade of just decor and there's Tinkerbell sitting up there. And a lot of times they will kind of ask you questions with, so like the last handler before you get passed in will sort of like ask you questions. And I don't really understand, but like Tinkerbell a lot of times knows things about you. Like she knows basically the answers to some of those questions that got <laughs> asked of you. And I, I still don't know how they get it to her so quickly unless she's wearing like a little earpiece, which would just be so distracting to me if I'm talking to a current guest, but hearing things about the next guest <laughs> that have her like mic'd in or whatever. But Tinkerbell always seems to kind of know like, they'll ask you things like, oh, what was your favorite thing? And then Tinkerbell will be like, oh my gosh, yes, I know you had so much fun at. And it, it's so just, a little... A little bit of nostalgia with that one because I don't know if you remember the old Pixie Hollow. So Pixie Hollow used to be over next to Flight of Peter Pan. And when they did that big uh, Fantasyland expansion and then expanded that queue line for Peter Pan to the Darling's house to where you walk through some of the rooms of the Darling house, they took away that Pixie Hollow... Um, meet and greet and it used to be Tinkerbell and then you would get one of the other fairies and the one time that we went to it we got pick, we got Tinkerbell and we got Rosetta um, so I kind of miss that one because that was really cool because it was kind of like I said it was back there by It's a Small World and, and Flight of uh, Peter Pan Flight and it was just a really cool area but I do love that Tinkerbell meet and greet at Town Square and it's one that gets a an okay wait time, but not a huge wait time. Because a lot of people will go in there and get in the line for Mickey, but not necessarily know that there's a second line there. So, kind of kind of a little hidden gem there. I'll, Did I take one of yours? Because as soon as I said Tinkerbell, it looked like you. No, I'm, I, I've got my other two, but the Tinkerbell one's a good one because of Pixie Hollow. And with Pixie Hollow not being there anymore, it just kind of... And, and Shannon said it. She said it's gone. It was a really, really cool meet and greet. Really well themed. And it did the same type of thing. As you walk through that, you got scaled down. And it was awesome. So, um, so my number two is going to be the meet and greet with the Evil Queen at artist point um it is probably one of the most intimidating meet and greets a kid can go to um 
so Artist Point has a character meal there, and it has God, who's part of that? Snow White. It's storybook dining with Snow White. Yeah, Snow White, Grumpy, is Dopey there? And yep. then the Evil Queen has kind of like a a backdrop that you you go and meet her. She doesn't come around to the tables. Um, but the pictures well, yeah, of Yeah, she can't come around to the tables. Otherwise, she'd see Snow White and try to kill her. Well, okay. <laughs> but my, my pictures with my kids at that meet and greet are fantastic. You can tell that they are just all sorts of intimidated. Um... Just really good, good character to have there. Um, and that is my number two. So, on to your number one. <laughs> Just, everybody see it? That says Storybook Dopey Grumpy. So I was going to talk all about Storybook Dining at Artist Point. Here's Topolino's. There's Tinkerbell. Numero uno. <laughs> This guy just robbed the numero uno. <laughs> uh, all right, I had a standby, and it's equally deserving of the number one slot. My number one is going to be the not-so-scary exclusives. That is going to be my number one meet-and-greet. Because during not-so-scary, you can meet the villains. So you can get a whole bunch of various villains all throughout the park, you have the ability to find Jafar, the Wicked Stepsisters, Gaston, all sorts of characters that you wouldn't normally be able to meet because in those same spots throughout the day is where you're going to find the heroes. And so during the Halloween party, the villains are out in full force. And on top of the villains you can a lot of times get very rare or exclusive characters as well. For example, like you can get all seven of the dwarves a lot of times, or you can meet Prince Eric or and Ariel together. Um, so kind of all lumped together, unique character experiences are paying and going to the parties because you will get unique experiences that you cannot get anywhere or anytime else. Yeah, and, and on top of that, you, you can get some other ones as well. Um, when you go to the Christmas party, you get some of those unique characters as well. That's where Moana at uh, Magic Kingdom will appear. Uh, also, in some of the Moonlight Madness events, if you're part of those, you can get some of those exotic characters as well. So definitely another perk of those After Hours events is some of those, those, those unique characters. So my number one is going to be um, actually in behind the castle and is going to be the Wicked Stepsisters. Um, it, it's a fantastic meet and greet. Um, it's kind of hidden. It's not always there. It usually rotates with a few other characters like the fairy godmothers there sometimes. Um, but the interaction with the two stepsisters is fantastic. They bicker the whole time. It, again, it's it's really good character acting. They interact with the kids real well. Um, I thought my son had an arranged marriage at one point. Um, it, it was it was pretty cool. It was it was pretty cool. Um, but that's another thing is sometimes not all the meet and greets are going to be in brick and mortar and at meals and that kind of stuff. Sometimes you just kind of luck into some of the best meet and greets around the park. So keep your eyes open because you don't know who's just going to pop in somewhere and and just hang out and take pictures and sign books. So, all right. Anything else with characters, Peter? No, I'm not cheating this week. All right, no cheating. Well, guys, thanks for watching the top three. If you do have any of your favorites that we didn't talk about, definitely put them in the comments or um, in the chat. Let us know. And then if you've got an idea for a top three episode, go to the website. If you're watching us today, it's right down below me, P-A-T-M, DisneyTravel.Wixsite.com forward slash planning. And go to the little box up in the top right corner and you could submit your idea for a top three.
Hey, thanks for checking us out today. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons to help out the channel. Also, if you're looking for some more Disney content, check this out. I think you're going to like it.